Hey, 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 back from a very long break, and I apologize for that, but we are back in the process of getting a weekly video out, maybe even two, and we're going to start that off with a new Terror Tuesday. So you all know of the Joker toxin, correct? All you comic book fans out there, anyone else, I'm pretty sure you know about the Joker, so yeah, if you don't, you should probably get on that. Well, just imagine a phenomenon that is not too far off from the chemical formula of the Clown Prince of Crime. Imagine having no control over your body as you and countless others are forced to dance non-stop for days and even weeks until you drop dead from exhaustion. The Dancing Plague or the Plague Epidemic of 1518 was a case of dancing mania that occurred in Strasbourg, Alsic, part of the Holy Roman Empire in July in 1518. Around 400 people took to dancing for days without rest and over a period of about one month, some of those affected died of heart attacks, strokes, and even collapsing from exhaustion. The outbreak began in July of 1518 when a woman named Miss Strophia began to dance vigorously in the streets of Strasbourg. This lasted somewhere between four to six days and within a week, 34 others had joined her. And within a month, there was around 400 dancers, primarily women, some of those people, as mentioned earlier, eventually died from basically their bodies just giving out on them. Historical documents of this event included physical notes, cathedral sermons, local and regional chronicles, and even notes issued by the Strasbourg City Council, all clearly stating that victims danced themselves to death. It is not known why these people danced or why some continued to until they died. As the plague seemingly worsened, concerned citizens thought the advice of local physicians, who in turn ruled out astrological and supernatural causes. Instead, it was announced that the plague was a natural disease caused by, and hear me out on this one, hot blood. However, instead of prescribing bleeding, authorities encouraged the dancing in part by opening two guild halls and grain market, and even constructing a wooden stage. The authorities did this because they believed that the dancers would recover only if they danced continuously night and day. To increase the effectiveness of the cure, authorities even paid musicians to keep a lively mood going. And historian John Waller stated that even a marathon runner would not be able to last the intense workout that these men and women died performing hundreds of years ago. That is insane. But let me know what you guys think. Would it be pretty terrible to meet your fate by simply dancing nonstop? And honestly, I think today, if that were to happen, we'd be seeing a lot of people whipping. And I feel like that would get very old, very fast. I really hope that does not happen again because I, no, 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 no. Thank you for staying with us to the end. If you enjoyed this journey, hit the like button down below and leave a comment in the comment section. I always consider suggestions for new videos and topics, so do not be shy. Also, do not forget to subscribe in order to stay up to date on all things unexplained. Until then, I hope to see you again next time as we take another trip into the realm of the unknown.